There's a lot of talk about how to make awesome content, but nobody tells you that putting your content live is just the beginning. Why is nobody talking about content analytics? I get it, reporting is boring. When I say reporting, you probably imagined Excel sheets, math, and going 17 clicks deep into Google Analytics, knowing damn well that you will never find your way back there again. If you like that kind of stuff, hello from the other side. My name is Bobby, and I like my reports to be visual and automated not just for me, but for the people I work with. This video is for everyone trying to show the impact of their work to the clients in a way that everybody understands. I'm going to show you how to make a custom, branded, and unique report that's connected to all your other tools. Look down at how long this video is because that's how long it will take to set everything up. So let's get started. In this video, I'll be using Involve Me as a content maker and pairing it with Google Sheets to make the reports. Everything will be fully automated so you and your clients can see everything in real time. Involve Me already comes with built-in analytics, so you always know how your content is performing. I made a separate video all about that, so if you want to know more about built-in analytics in Involve Me, you can click over here to check the video out or it will also be linked in the description below. The reasons you'd need a custom report on top of the built-in analytics are one, you have your own metrics. If you're tracking something specific that's not a metric in most tools, custom is the way to go. Two, making the data actionable. Custom reports take the naked data that you gather and turn it into information that you can act on. Three, delivering branded reports to your clients that look like they took hours to make every single month when really they were just auto-populated templates. So how do you make custom reports? I'm going to take this custom price quote calculator that I made in one of my other videos and I'll connect it to send all the data it collects into a Google Sheet. It's an empty Google Sheet, nothing to write home about yet. I'm naming it Data Input Sheet and you'll see why later. To connect my content to the Google Sheet, I'm going to go to Integrations. Tick Use Custom Integration Setting for this project. Then scroll down the native integrations list until you find Google Sheets. Click Configure. Then you'll have to log into your Google account and then enter in the link to the Google Sheet where it says Google Sheet URL. And then just click on Save. Keep in mind though that it will only send data to Google Sheets if you have a dedicated opt-in checkbox. To enable this, go back to your project and drag and drop the opt-in checkbox content element onto one of your pages. Then under options, where it says send data to, select Google Sheets. This step is super important. If you don't do this, it won't send the data to your Google Sheets. And that's it. Now, every time somebody gets a custom price quote and answers my questions, I'll see their answers and personal data in the sheet immediately. Let's try it. Once we've collected enough data, the data input sheet will look something like this. Now for the fun part. The magic happens in the data analysis and data visualization sheets. They take data from the data input sheet and make it actionable, pretty, and easy to understand. The data analysis and data visualization sheets can be anything. You don't even need to be good at Google Sheets. You just need to know what metrics you need and Google it. Once you have a nice template, you can customize it and match it to your branding so it doesn't look like a ugly, naked data export. Clients can't understand that. The custom metrics I'm calculating in this template are, firstly, lead to qualified lead conversion rate. This means that of all the leads you collected, which are actually a good match for your business. The criterion used to identify a qualified lead in this template are how many customers booked an in-person session. You can change this criterion to be anything that matches your client's sales cycle. Secondly, qualified lead with high value purchase rate. For this fictional solar panel roofing business, that's any client that has a roof that's bigger than 100 square meters and has booked an in-person call. Thirdly, leads with high value purchase intent rate. These are the clients that did not book an in-person session, 
but who do have a roof that is larger than 100 square meters. Again, this metric can be changed to your criteria on whatever you think is a high value purchase intent. This is just an example. And again, all the data gets sent automatically in real time. You can either send your client a link to this document or export it and send it to them periodically. I have this exact sheet linked as a free template in the description below. All you have to do is click the link and make a copy of the Google Sheet so that you can edit it and use it for your own purposes. In order to make the data analysis sheet work, you need to make sure that the information is sourced from the right places from the data input sheets. You'll have to reference the correct rows, columns, or specific cells. Like if you're counting overall payment values, it should take the information from the columns that have the payment values, right? Sounds obvious, but even I get it wrong sometimes. It happens to the best of us. Setting it up might take up to five minutes, but once everything's connected, your reports will update automatically every time your Involve Me project collects new data. So to sum it up, to make a custom report for your clients, here's what to do. Firstly, make a copy of the spreadsheet template that you'd like to use. Secondly, create an Involve Me project or use an existing one. If you're using an older project, you can import your old data manually into the spreadsheet so everything's there. Thirdly, connect your project to your spreadsheet. To do this, go to integrations and select your project under project level. Then scroll down the native integrations list until you find Google Sheets. Here you have to click configure and then you have to log into your Google account. And lastly, enter the link to the data input sheet and there you go, you're all set to go. Well, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That would really help us out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.